An ace. An ace. And another. Not missing the slightest detail is Australia's ace tennis coach, Harry Hopman. For attention to the smallest detail is of the utmost importance in the Davis Cup. Yes, I've been captain of Australia's Davis Cup teams for many years and part of my job is to watch our opponents carefully and pick their faults. Then our boys try to exploit those faults to win points. But that's not all. They wouldn't win the points unless they and their equipment were at peak efficiency. In recent years, tennis has become one of the leading sports in Australia, a game for young and old alike, where competition for club honours is keen, and as Harry Hopman says, physical condition and essential equipment are as carefully watched by some players as if competing in the Davis Cup. But accidents do happen. That worn sole has cost Tommy and Helen a point. He didn't pay attention to that small detail. His racket strings are at correct tension, though. Watch, match point coming up. Yes, an ace. Sure, they're excited enough. They won the final, didn't they? Tennis has been good to Tommy and Helen. They were introduced to the club, were selected in the mixed doubles. They worked as a team on the court, and now are carrying their teamwork off the court and into a new home they're building. No hand signals? Tommy considered that those little things didn't matter, like worn shoes, like taking his eyes off the road like cutting his corners, or failing to give right of way to a pedestrian on a crossing, or watching the speedometer. 45 isn't 30, but that's only a small detail, isn't it, Tommy? Or is it? Close, wasn't it? Perhaps you'll take more care of the little things in future, Tommy, for her future is in your hands too. Yes, he must watch those small things on the court to become a champion. Even more important, he must watch the small things on the road if he is to live long enough to become a good driver. If he doesn't, then he'll serve an ace. But it'll be the ace of spades. And that's not winning, it's losing. Losing the game of life. 